Hi there, my name is Susan and I'm a counselor at Student Financial Services here at UVM. There are a variety of ways that families pay their semester bill, and I am going to walk you through the monthly payment plan option in this video. The monthly payment plan allows you to take a full lump sum amount that you plan to pay for the semester and to split that into four or five monthly installments rather than paying the full lump sum on the bill due date. To enroll for the monthly payment plan, there is a $60 fee per semester, one for the fall, one for the spring, and then your lump sum that you designate will be split into equal payments that will automatically be transferred on the first of each month for fall, July 1st through November 1st. There is no additional fee for the payment plan if you choose to use electronic bank payments, but there is an additional fee if you designate a debit or a credit card for your automatic transfers. So please keep that in mind. And again, the fall payment plan is July 1st through November 1st, and you would enroll in a second plan for spring if you choose to do that December 1st through April 1st. Now this will show you a little bit more clearly how the breakdown occurs depending on when you enroll in the payment plan. If you enroll before June 22nd, there is no required down payment and you will have five equal payments July 1st through November 1st. You do pay your $60 enrollment fee when you enroll in the payment plan. If you do not enroll prior to June 22nd, that is okay, and your payments will just look a little bit different. You will pay your $60 enrollment fee, and then you will pay 20% down and have four equal payments, August through November. And you can see there's a August option, and your final day to enroll in a payment plan, if you choose to do that, is September 15th. You would pay 33% of the total amount that you're paying, with two more payments coming in October and November. If you want to enroll in the payment plan, a student or a proxy may do that. I do want to note that there's only one payment plan per student. A lot of families have more than one person who's contributing to this lump sum. And if you want to do that, that is fine. What often happens is a student will set up a checking account from which these payments will be withdrawn and then multiple family members can contribute to that account. But the payment plan is only going to draw from one account per student. So you will go into your MyUVM student or um, proxy portal and you will view your account and billing activity and choose the monthly payment plan. And I'm going to use some examples to show you what those screens are going to look like. On your first screen, you're going to choose your student's name, and then you are going to view account and billing activity and make payments. And this is what that screen will look like. And then you will come to a screen with, which has your account and billing activity, and you're going to select your bill date, and there's a drop-down menu where you can do that. And this will show you the payments that are due and any payments that are pending. And at the bottom, you're going to choose your monthly payment plan. And then you will come to the screen where you enroll. You are going to sign up for fall, and this notes the $60 non-refundable enrollment fee. And then you will have the budget worksheet where you will plug in the lump sum that you intend to pay for the semester. Now, if you don't know what that is, perhaps you're signing up prior to the bill being released in July, you can go to a tool that we have to estimate your bill. And I put the link here, go.uvm.edu forward slash estimate your bill. And that will allow you to determine what your payment plan amount should be. Now, once you plug in the full amount, you will come to the agreement details screen, and this will take the full estimated balance that you intend to pay and break it into your equal payments. This is an example where a family was going to pay $12,500 to pay their bill in full, and then they were going to split that payment into $2,500 per month, July 1st through November 1st. Now keep in mind that if something changes, an additional scholarship comes in or another form of payment comes in, you can adjust this payment plan at any time. So don't worry if you are 
plugging in an amount that ends up to not be what you intend to do, you can go back in and make any adjustments. So how does this payment plan look on the student account? Uh, the bill will show as paid in full on the bill due date if you have set up a payment plan. The outstanding payment plan payments will show as pending. So each month, as the monthly transfers are made, the paid in full amount will increase and the pending payments will decrease until November 1st when the payment plan is paid in full. And again, if you need to make any adjustments throughout the term of the payment plan, you can do that. If you have any questions about monthly payment plans or anything else with having to do with paying your bill, um, Student Financial Services is here to help you. We are in the Waterman building right across from the green. We are in the office. You can drop in at any time, 10 to 430, Monday through Friday. You can email us and you can call us. And we look forward to welcoming you to campus.